by Ram Trucks, built to serve. This weekend, it's the event that's simply just too big for one night. It's WrestleMania tomorrow and Sunday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, available on foxsports.com slash WrestleMania. And why not talk to the guy who's going to be there front and center, WWE superstar Kofi Kingston, joining us this morning. Kofi, good morning. Thank you for being with us. I want to jump <laughs> right in. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Lighten yeah. the mood I'll for raise, all I'll of us. I'll raise it up. Uh, I'll raise it up. Speaking of that, <laughs> I'll raise it all the way up, Kofi, which you will be doing at the event. Tell me about the opportunity to be able to entertain people during these difficult times. Clearly, your personality is ready to just sort of jump out there. Yeah, for sure. This is uh, something that we take uh, a lot of pride in, being able to entertain people throughout any kind of tough times that they might be having. You know, uh, that's been WWE pretty much 101 for, you know, however long. But, um, yeah, we, it's just important to uh, be able to provide a sense of levity, you know, uh, and, and to be a person that is on this WrestleMania. It's probably like one of, if not the most unique WrestleManias in the history of WrestleManias. Um, but at the same time, you know, with the, no crowd many, or, or whatever, but at the same time, it's something that, like, we are, you know, it, it's just so unique, you know? So to be on that card is, um, it's, it's going to be great. And, uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in just bringing that energy, and uh, it's still WrestleMania for us. So I think the show is going to be great. It's going to be two days, which has never happened before either. Gronk as the host, you know, me being a Patriots fan, and as a matter of fact, so I just watched you guys' segment just before, and like when I was thinking about the questions that you guys might ask me for this interview, I was like, oh man, they probably might ask me about Brady, they might ask me about the Patriots. I'm like, man, what if we got Tua? I start, hand to God, hand to God, you know? And then I wake up, send the, you know, the Boston Globe has this article about this possibility, so this is why you like, you put these things out into the universe, you know? You affirm, my mom always says affirmation is key, and now here we are, you know? I don't wanna get my hopes up, but, man, Let's we go. got two a boy. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I know, I know we're going to get into Gronk and the Tom Brady or Tua later in, in our discussion, but I want to ask you about this weekend in this regard. A huge part of your story has been the embrace of the fans, the, the way the fans have embraced you, not only from their couches but in the arena. The pop you get in the crowd is one of the things that really skyrocketed you to real super stardom. WrestleMania this year is in a very unique place as we all are as we're dealing with this pandemic. How much more incumbent is it going to be on the superstars to bring even extra energy because there's no crowd? And how much tougher is that as a superstar when you don't hear the crowd either chanting or booing, but you've got to deliver it because people are doing that on their couches you just can't see him and hear him. It's definitely a lot different. I'm not going to lie, Nick. When we were out there, uh, you know, it's, it's just different. Um, like you said, we thrive off the crowd. It's such a huge part, probably the biggest part of what we do. But at the same time, like as performers, we have this internal sense of, I guess, where the crowd should be. And for myself, like I told you, like when I, when I was on the show like a while ago, this is all I've ever wanted to do. So anytime I get into a ring, and I start getting in there again with guys like the Usos or guys like Miz and Morrison who are so good at what they do. You can't help but feel energized. And that energy just carries out throughout the arena. Regardless, we always say, like, we put on the best show if you have one person in the crowd or you have a million people in the crowd. The energy from us is always the same. You always want to go all out. Obviously, the crowd helps that. But um, our energy doesn't, doesn't really change, you know? So, And then at the, in the back of our minds, we know that we are providing that sense of relief for people, a distraction, you know, uh, and a sense of entertainment that the WWE always brings. So you, you, you feed off of that, you know, and I think that people are going to be pleasantly surprised with the way that uh, WrestleMania is this year, even though it is different. Kofi, you talked about the historical uh, importance of WrestleMania. You, of course, won your belt last year at WrestleMania. How important it was it to, for you to win at WrestleMania? You could have won in a lot of ways, but you won it at WrestleMania, just like a lot of the heroes that you saw growing up. Yeah, for me, it was a uh, stereotypically a childhood dream that came true. You couldn't have written a better story the way that it happened. It was just so organic. 
it wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, and it was the crowd that gave the fuel and the energy for it to, to progress week after week. Uh, Kofi mania is what a lot of people referred to last year's WrestleMania as. And as a performer, that's what you strive for. You want to have a moment that reaches so many people, that affects so many people in so many different ways. So, um, yeah, for me, that's that's what that was. And, uh, like, I'm getting goosebumps here, like, talking about it in my house with nobody in the room. My kids might walk in at any given moment, by the way. They're probably about to wake up pretty soon. But uh, it's just, it still blows my mind that even a year later, thinking about the effect that that match and, and my victory there and winning the WWE Championship had on so many different people, I get messages on Twitter all the time. It's hard to believe that it was a year ago because it really does feel like yesterday that I was in there with Woods and E and 85,000 people and my family in the crowd and my, uh, my, my kids getting in the ring with me and my oldest son throwing out a T-shirt, you know, uh, to everybody. It's just, uh, it, it's, it's incredible. It is truly incredible. And even like I said, a year, a full year later, here we are and it still feels as amazing as it did the night that I won. Kofi, this is really cool. On top of everything else you're doing, you're now starring in a Netflix film called The Main Event about an 11-year-old boy who discovers a mask and, and goes on to become a WWE superstar. Tell us about the experience. What was the whole thing like? What was it like filming this? It was awesome. I think a lot of people, uh, the, the natural transition, like from being a WWE superstar to post-WWE, everyone always talks about, oh, well, you're going to go into acting, right? You're going to go into Hollywood. And to me, they're very different things. They're very different entities in the way that you approach it. And I, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go that route, but I think that uh, like this was the perfect way to kind of get my feet wet. I'm playing myself in the movie. I had an amazing, there was a ma an amazing cast there. Um, you know, it, it's just, it, it was, it was crazy. It was awesome. And um, you know, myself, I'm in it. Seamus is in it. It's a story about a boy who finds like a magical lucha mask and he gets all these wrestling powers, you know what I mean? And he, he's able to go out and like live out his dream. And I just happen to be the character that he looks up to in the movie. So he's wearing my shirt. He's, you know, his grandmother is in love with me, you know? So it, it's, it's an awesome, like just a fun story that comes out on Netflix. And the timing actually couldn't be any better because with everybody being indoors, a lot of people are watching Netflix, you know? So I think this, uh, this story is going to be able to bring people a lot of, uh, just a lot of, you know, just a lot of joy. It's like your feel good, like, if you're a kid who wants to be a wrestler, this is kind of the story that you want to, you know, that you want to be involved with. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think it was, I think it was great. What's up, man? <laughs> Kofi, our colleague at Fox Sports, future NFL Hall of Famer Rob Gronkowski, you mentioned him earlier. He obviously has a huge part with WrestleMania. I am curious if he decided to go full bore. Oh, look at that guy. I didn't even see him there. What's up, man? He jumped. Uh, I told you he was going to wake up. If he decided to go full bore. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We were too loud. WWE <laughs> superstar. You think Gronk has it in him if he wanted to drop the mic and try to get in the ring with you guys? Oh, yeah, 100%. I had the uh, opportunity to cross paths with him as all the uh, things were going on. And, and Gronk, definitely, his personality is such that you know, when he got in the ring a few years ago in the Andre Memorial Battle Royal, he, like, he just looked like he belonged. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, yeah. He's got it on the mic. He's got the charisma. He's got the size. He's got the energy. And I think he's been wanting to do this for a real, real long time. So we'll see what happens after he, uh, he hosts. But I wouldn't be surprised if he, uh, if he ended up in the ring at some point soon. Kofi, Bill Belichick is a champion. You're a champion. As, as champion to champion, if you call Belichick, what do you want to do at quarterback now? Ooh. I, <laughs> how can I tell Bill Belichick what to do? I'm the guy who is like, I, I, I've been so blessed as from my childhood all the way up until now to have experienced like such uh, a winning tradition. And I'm so spoiled. You know, I've been to, to nine Super Bowls. You know what I'm saying? And I say that because I feel like I was on the field with my boys, you know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, I've won six of them. There are so many of my friends who haven't even sniffed the Super Bowl. They haven't sniffed the playoffs. I mean, Kansas City hadn't won the Super Bowl in 50 years. I don't know what that feels like. 
And that's all because of Bill Belichick and his plan, you know, and, and the system. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, so I can't, I don't know, man. I, I'm always one to just trust in the system. And I think that uh, Belichick knows what he's doing, you know, and, and as sad as it was to see Tom Brady go, uh, I feel like he's given me so much as a fan of the Patriots that if he wants to go off and prove himself somewhere else and he wants to do other things, I feel like he's earned that right. You know, so um, so we'll see, man. It's it's a very long winded answer to say that, you know, to, to beat around the bush here and, and not give. A, I gave you a non answer. You know, I'm not going to well, give Kofi, any I'm kind super of excited. I'm super excited for the adorable little boy on your lap. Just like you got two uninterrupted decades of success in Super Bowls with Brady, he's going to get to grow up in the Jared Stidham era, and I'm sure it'll be just the same. And you guys, it'll, it'll be you guys and he, you and your M will be able to compare memories of the Brady era you grew up in. That that adorable right. little yeah. boy is about to grow up of the age into. The, hey, look, the, the, this is my son Kai, and he might be getting into. The, uh, the Jared Stidham era. But I think a lot of people might have said the same thing about Brady when Bledsoe went out oh so long ago. And I'm not saying oh, yeah. that Stidham is Brady by any means, but let's give Stidham a chance before everybody starts making out, throwing all these okay. punch shots and making these jokes. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. We'll see, man. We'll see. <laughs> I, like I said, I don't... Right. When it comes to the Patriots, I just... I have faith. I have faith, you know? Our defense is still tight. So uh, hopefully Stidham can grow... And, and become Tom Brady-esque. And maybe he'll come on the show and make you eat those words, Nick. You know? Make you eat those words. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't we love that? Hey, Kai, it's great to meet you. We love seeing you. We love the work.